Woodpecker's Principalis Linnaeus. 1758 The ivory-billed woodpecker is a possibly extinct woodpecker native to the bottomland hardwood forests and temperate coniferous forests of the southern United States and Cuba. Habitat destruction and hunting have reduced populations so thoroughly that the species is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List and as definitely a probably extinct by the American Birding Association. The last universally accepted sighting of an American ivory-billed woodpecker occurred in Louisiana in 1944, and the last universally accepted sighting of a Cuban ivory-billed woodpecker occurred in 1987. Sporadic reports of sightings and other evidence of the bird's persistence have continued since then. In the 21st century, reported sightings and analyses of audio and visual recordings have been published in peer-reviewed scientific journals as evidence that the species persists in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Florida. Various land purchasers and habitat restoration efforts have been initiated in areas where sightings and other evidence have suggested a relatively high probability the species exists to protect any surviving individuals. In September 2021, the species was declared extinct by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The IUCN has not changed its assessment of the species. The ivory-billed woodpecker was first described as Picus maximus rostra albo in English naturalist. Mark Cattesby's 1731 publication of Natural History of Carolina, Florida, and the Bahamas, noting his report, Linnaeus later described it in the landmark 1758 10th edition of his Systema Naturae, where it was given the binomial name of Picus principalis. The genus Campophilus was introduced by the English zoologist George Robert Gray in 1840 with the ivory billed woodpecker as the type species. Ornithologists currently recognize two subspecies of this bird. The two look similar, with the Cuban bird somewhat smaller and some variations in plumage with the white dorsal strips extending to the bill, and the red crest feathers of the male longer than its black crest feathers, while the two are of the same length in the American subspecies. Some controversy exists over whether the Cuban ivory-billed woodpecker is more appropriately recognized as a separate species. A 2006 study compared DNA samples taken from specimens of both ivory-billed woodpeckers, along with the imperial woodpecker, a larger but otherwise very similar bird. It concluded not only that the Cuban and American ivory-billed woodpeckers are genetically distinct, but also that they and the imperial form a North American clade within Campophilus that appeared in the mid-Pleistocene. The study does not attempt to define a lineage linking the three birds though it does imply that the Cuban bird is more closely related to the imperial. The American Ornithologists' Union Committee on Classification and Nomenclature has said it is not yet ready to list the American and Cuban birds as separate species. Lovett, a member of the committee, said that more testing is needed to support that change, but concluded, these results will likely initiate an interesting debate on how we should classify these birds. Quote, Ivory-billed woodpecker, is the official name given to the species by the International Ornithologists' Union. Older common names included log cock, log god, good lord, Indian hen, kent, kate, pool the boys, and titka. Some modern authors refer to it as the holy grail bird, or grail bird, because of its extreme rarity and elusiveness to birders. The ivory-billed woodpecker is one of the largest woodpeckers in the world at roughly 51 centimeters of western Mexico as the largest woodpecker in the world. The ivory-billed woodpecker has a total length of 48 to 53 centimeters. Standard measurements obtained include a wing cord length of 23.5 to 26.5 centimeters and a tarsus length of 4 to 4.6 centimeters. The plumage of the ivory-billed woodpecker is predominated by a shiny black or purple tint. There are white lines extending from the cheeks down the neck, meeting on the back. The ends of the inner primary feathers are white, as well as the whole of the outer secondary feathers. This creates extensive white on the trailing edge of both the upper and underwing. The underwing is also white along its forward edge resulting in a black line running along the middle of the underwing. 
expanding to more extensive black at the wingtip. Some birds have been recorded with more extensive amounts of white on the primary feathers. Ivory bills have a prominent crest. Although in juveniles it is ragged, the bird is somewhat sexually dimorphic, as seen in the picture to the right, as the crest is black along its forward edge, changing abruptly to red on the side and rare in males, but solid black in females, as well as juvenile males. When perched with the wings folded, birds of both sexes present a large patch of white on the lower back, roughly triangular in shape, like all woodpeckers. The ivory.